Welcome back, Helldivers. Who is Joel? What is Joel? Few words bring such anger and fear to the hearts of Helldivers around the globe. In humanity's fight for managed democracy, we thought we had seen all the horrors of the galaxy. The grotesque cyborg uprising, the uncontainable taint of the terminate hives, the otherworldly illuminate, hell-bent on our destruction, and even the chilling glow from the eyes of the inhuman automatons. But there was something much, much worse out there, lurking in the depths of the cosmos, something of pure evil. Our conquest to free the galaxy comes at a cost, and that cost is the realization that some entities cannot be taught the freedom of managed democracy. Some entities must be eradicated. Some entities, like Joel. Okay, <laughs> let's get real. I wanted to try my hand at conveying to all the newcomers just how much Joel is on the chopping block right now in the community. But who is Joel? Let's answer that question. We've known for a while now that Helldivers 2 has a game master who orchestrates events and helps the ever-changing world to feel alive. This past week when Malevolon Creek fell to automaton control, we got a glimpse into who that game master is. I had always assumed that the role of the game master was more of a term than that multiple people were pulling the strings, the whole team. But nope, it seems like we all have one person to thank for those automaton reinforcements that stomped us out last week. According to the Arrowhead CEO, who says in a tweet, we have an actual person, Joel, with the job title of Game Master. We have a lot of systems built into the game where the Game Master has a lot of control over the play experience. It's something that we're continuously evolving based on what's happening in the game. In an article I was reading on Joel for this video, it is mentioned that he sometimes, get this, wakes up in the middle of the night to give out reinforcements to our enemies. <laughs> that madman. That is too much power for one man. Joel has incredible power, but it is important to understand that he can be beat. While he does control our enemies and which planets can be liberated, theoretically, we can push back his evil hand by not giving up the fight. As for me, I'm doing my part by fighting on Angel's Venture to push back the Terminate Hives. We may have been beaten on Malevolon Creek, but we will have our revenge on the Automatons. And on Joel. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to spread democracy.